then you're ready to sew all or you can sew a portion but I'm gonna click sew all and it takes me to another screen and this is the really fun part and the part that I'm gonna use a lot um, because you previously set this you don't have to mark where on your quilt this is going to stitch. You did that in the previous step. But let's say this border is not exactly straight. Let's say it, it dips in a little bit here and there. So come up to plugins, click that, and then you're going to tap fabric comp. And what this does is allows you to define the sewing line. So for instance, see the dark green line? That's the line I'm on right now. So take your machine and just run it along the border. And let's say the border starts about here, it starts to go in right there. Um, I'm gonna actually dip it down a little bit. And then you make a mark with the plus sign. See how that line went down? And you can keep doing this. And you see how my stitching is going down with it. And you just drag your machine across <clears throat> and make as many points as you want. Well now if you're ready to do this side, it's got to be dark green um, in order for you to be working on it. So you click the next button. See how it went dark green? I'm going to pretend that one's okay. That one's okay. But now this one is not because remember it, I was telling you it, it caved in, which it would never be this bad, but we're just playing. So I'm going to put a mark here and and just kind of the same concept. You can just move it around. And you can use this fabric comp tool um, anywhere, but the key is you cannot use it if you're doing one point placement. So if you're just doing a straight line on a quilt or a block, for instance, and you place it in the top left corner on your quilt, and that's done in settings, then fabric comp will not work. So you would have to have at least two placement methods. Okay, and so then I'm going to click OK. Okay, and see the purple lines are where we, we formally defined, but the green lines are where it's going to stitch. And this is where I was saying in settings, um, if you have, well, it's not going to show it because I'm in borders, but if you are in uh, pantograph and you click settings, placement method, and you had top left corner or center or something like that, the fabric comp tool would not work. Okay, so um, now we've placed it, our quilt is in order. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is pull the bobbin. I hold the bobbin in my hand, I mean hold the top string in my hand and pull it up so that the bobbin comes up to the top, grab both of those and click so. The machine will go back to the start point at which time, once the machine's out of your way, you can cut those threads very close to the quilt. And your borders, your border and your corners are going to stitch out exactly as you laid them. And I guarantee you they will stay within your um, seam lines. So then you click Finish. And it takes us back to this original screen. So now we can go, let's say, roll it up and go all the way to the bottom. So you click Bottom and then you place this according to where the bottom is or where your seam lines are on your quilt okay so something like that and then you click sew all and we come back to this screen and I've already placed it so we don't have to but this is where again you would do the fabric comp which is under plugins and you may want to you know perhaps it's oh see did you see that I I thought I had the top line selected but I had the bottom selected so that's not what I want and I can click the X here and it goes back down so let's say I'm checking the bottom and I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And hopefully the quilt is not really this bad. So if, then if you want to go to the top, you click next until this top line is highlighted. 
and then you can start adding your points and of course if you have a point that is wrong maybe your machine moved you could click the X will take that last point out these X's will take all the points out I have not used smoothing level before um, so that might be something to play around with So I'm just really not sure about it, so I can't comment on that. But anyway, once you get it like you like it, click OK. And now you're ready to pull bobbin and sew. And it will stitch out um, the bottom portion of your borders and corner. Now the side pieces here, I usually chunk those. And that what that is is I do not take my quilt off of the frame and turn it sideways so that this is now the top and the other side is the bottom. Instead, I do what is called chunking, and I will do a lesson on that next. It will be part two of this portion. Thanks for watching.